What's up you guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I definitely am going to be tackling all of the clutter in my house. I feel like things have just been piling up like for the past couple days and I just haven't gotten a chance to like catch up, you know what I mean? So I definitely want to tackle all of that. Riley's at school, I have the day off, so I definitely have some extra time to get all of this stuff done. Tomorrow my sister is coming up, um, so I just wanna make the place like look a little nice. So that is basically what we are going to be focusing on. Also, the wallpaper finally came in. I'm super excited about that. I hope I got enough because I don't really have like a measuring tape here, but I wanted to show you guys what it looks like in person. I doubt I'm going to put it up today because I just am not in the mood to like fully prep the wall, but I at least want to show you guys it in person. And then I also did pick up some stuff from Old Navy. And you know what? We might as well do a little bit of an Amazon haul as well. So I got some goodies for you guys that I want to share, but let me stop rambling. I want to just quickly tackle this house and get it back in order. We break up and you slam the door. I messed up on the bedroom floor. What the hell do we do this for? I push you up, you come back. That attraction, we can't fight that. All right guys, so let's get started. I'm starting off in my living room and I'm really just tidying up the space. It honestly wasn't too bad. There were little things laying around here and there. And then I'm gonna move on to wiping down the TV console. We got that mad love. We got that sad love. We got that fun love. We got that young love, yeah, that dumb love. We got that mad love. We got that sad love. We got that fun love. We got that young love, yeah, that dumb love. So we had Riley's five-year annual doctor's appointment. And lately she's been coughing like a lot more. It kind of like comes and goes, but I do know she is allergic to a lot of stuff. Like when she was a baby and we found out that she was allergic to nuts. Um, the doctor said she was too young to be tested for like grass, trees, pollen, all of that kind of stuff. But she like looked at her and immediately said like, but she's allergic. So we've been kind of trying to monitor um, her like cough. It gets like really bad when she's, uh, again, like the seasons are changing and things like that. So I put the humidifier on. So I mentioned that to the doctor and I also wanted her to check like just her lungs and all that kind of stuff to see if she potentially has like asthma because like there were a couple times when I felt like she was like wheezing a bit. Um, and the doctor ended up telling us that asthma and what is it? Um, not psoriasis, um, asthma and what is that thing with your like skin? Like whatever, like really, really dry skin, eczema, sorry, completely blanking, but like that um, asthma, eczema, and also allergies are kind of like coexist together, if that makes sense. And I used to have um, asthma, but it was more of like athlete's asthma. So anytime I was like playing a sport and it was really hot out and I was just like over like worked, I guess, I would get asthma and my older sister has asthma as well. So she was saying that most of the time if the mom does have asthma, the kids tend to um, get it, but they can grow out of it. So what she ended up doing is she wrote us a prescription for albuterol and also a i'm like completely butchering this a nebulizer and also a nebulizer that we can use like we can just have on hand god forbid anything were to get worse i don't think we're ever going to have to use it i'm like crossing my fingers praying to god that we'll never have to use it but it was i guess good that she took what i had to say seriously and she did give us this as a backup so let me know if any of you guys have like small kids or when your kids were smaller, if they had asthma and they had to like have any of these things and like how did you manage it or how do you know when things are like really, really bad? She basically just told us like if she's ever coughing so much that she can't even complete a full sentence, definitely use both of these and then get her in right away. Like they'll make you know, they'll squeeze her in type of thing. But I don't know why I'm even saying this to you guys, but I just kind of wanted to get that all like checked out. But if you guys can let me know down below if any of your kids suffer from asthma when they're like young, she just turned five. Um, just kind of like let me know how all of that works or what has worked for you guys um, in regards to like, you know, the seasons changing, allergies, um, 
and all of that good stuff. Now that I have all of the main pieces in our apartment, I really want to start styling my apartment now, putting decor up on the walls and pictures and also just styling this area. I really want it to look nice as we come in. I want it to have an area to throw our keys and maybe have a little notebook of like things I need to remember before I head out the door, just whatever it is. But I'm trying to figure out what look I'm really trying to go for. I don't want it to be too cluttered, but I do want it to still look nice. So I'm definitely going to need your help on this. If you guys have any suggestions, please make sure to leave them below. So these are all of Riley's water toys and before I just had them like put in her water bin but I really just kind of wanted a separate place just for this stuff so I'm repurposing this clear plastic bin. I am going to be having another video coming up in the future where I'm just going to organize more stuff and the goal is to get this in here. Um, so. Yeah, for now, I'm just going to put this on the side, probably just move it over and put her shoes on the other side. But I do want to get it organized in here. So when we want to go outside and play, we can um, and we can kind of just keep everything all like organized and all of that kind of good stuff. Um, I am going to save this like crinkly paper for next um, Easter. You know, you got to just reuse stuff and then don't mind that. That's all the garbage that needs to be thrown out. It's always so satisfying to see a nice and clean area in your home, but then at the same time, it's like so sad to see how quickly it could go back to being a mess. And especially if you have kids, like the struggle of just trying to keep a clean and tidy home is a lot.
want you talk to me It's what I want the most in my life They say you're out of my league But I don't give a damn No, deep down I know you want it You wanna take a leap and jump in Oh, oh, oh You wanna fall in love You get Making you smile I know I am what you need And boy, you're just my type Deep down, I know you want it You wanna take a leap and jump in Oh, oh, oh We're gonna fall in love You get me spinning Wouldn't it be awesome If you just kiss me slowly And had me in your arms I wanted to take the time to introduce myself to anybody who is new. My name is Nia and I am a working mom who sh enjoys sharing cleaning, organization, and homemaking videos to help motivate and inspire the everyday busy mom. Recently, I've also just been sharing with you guys my like self-growth journey and things that I have been learning and discovering about myself and you guys have really been enjoying it and I am enjoying sharing it with you. I really do believe that my purpose in life is just to share the struggles and things like that that I go through to hopefully help and inspire other people or just let you guys know that you're not alone because we are all going through something. So I hope you guys enjoy this content. Make sure to give it a thumbs up. Also, if you are new, make sure to leave me a comment down below introducing yourself. I love getting to know you guys in the comments. I feel like we have formed a really nice friendship and I'm just really enjoying it. So let me know what you guys are up to while you're watching. to give you guys an update on Riley and her picky eating. So for breakfast, we've been going strong with the cinnamon toast crunch. So she actually saw it in the store, asked for it, and I did not wanna buy a full box because how often does she say she wants something and then does not eat it. But I did end up having, don't mind this drawer, it's a mess, but some of these like small, little packs which actually I can throw this out right now um, I had one in a small pack and I told her hey I'll give you some of these if you like it then I will buy you the big box she I split it up into like two or three days just because you know she's still like a toddler and she ate it so she has been having that especially on the mornings where we are strapped 
for time and I just do not have the time to like sit there and really make her like a breakfast. Not that I'm like even really making her a big breakfast, but usually she'll ask for a grilled cheese. And honestly, I don't even know if that's really a breakfast food, but that is what we're having in the morning. But lately she's been really liking the cinnamon toast crunch because we've been kind of like a little bit late in the morning. She's not getting up. Um, it's like more of a struggle to get her up and I'm not quite sure if it's just like maybe like a growth spurt or anything like that because for the most part she's still going to bed at the same time unless I need to like bump that up another half an hour which I could play around with to see if that will be any better but um, yeah cinnamon toast crunch has definitely been a favorite and that's actually my older sister like by far favorite breakfast or favorite cereal so I kind of had to like let her know that to kind of keep it going but let me know down in the comments what your favorite cereal is honestly i do like cinnamon toast crunch but i definitely like i would say the what is it special k but it has to be the one with the strawberries starting to get a little bit dark I think it's actually gonna rain but I want to quickly show you guys the wallpaper I'm like so excited for this that I am actually starting to look for wallpaper for my room because I definitely want to get that put up and find something that I like but I do want to see how well I could put this up because I've never done wallpaper before and now that it's like coming back I absolutely love it but I just wanna make sure that I'm not spending so much money because this is a rental. You know, when I buy a home, that is when I feel like I will go all out. But I got three rolls of these. It's kind of still a little light, let me see. Okay, so I got three rolls. And again, I don't have a, I probably should get one, but I don't have a tape measure, so I kind of just like measured and guessed. But Worst case, it's not too much um, because I'm gonna basically be putting it in um, this wall and it's just the top portion. I'm not gonna go all the way down to the bottom. I think just the top portion is going to be enough. Um, so really that's like the only like big area that I have and then like up at the top, like the doorway here and then up over where the laundry room is. But, and I'll have this linked down below on Etsy. They always have sales, so don't pay full price if you guys are interested, but they have like so many different like peel and stick wallpaper to choose from. Is this not gorgeous? Like I'm so excited for this. Like I feel like it's just gonna pop and yeah, I'm super excited. So that will be in an upcoming video where, you know, we will do this together. Put this up i will read the directions that it has and all of that good stuff um so we can do this right because i don't want to you know have to buy this again <laughs> also i forgot to mention the name of the shop is spoon flower and they do peel and stick removable woven wallpaper and i think they even have like another option that's like probably a little bit more permanent but clearly again this is a rental so I'm not gonna go with that. And the shipping was super quick. I feel like I bought it, let's say on a Friday, and I received it by like Tuesday, Wednesday. But again, it all depends on where you live. And then I picked up a couple of things from Old Navy um, that I wanted to share with you guys. So I placed an order online, half of it had to be shipped, and the other half I could actually pick up in the store. So this is what I got. I got these cute little like green shorts um in a previous video i wore the pink ones and i absolutely love them so oh when we went uh strawberry picking that's what i wore and i got these in green um i also ordered another pair of jeans so i thought these were cute i got a size 12 just because like i don't want these like riding up my behind but we'll try them on and see how these fit 
because again we are, are also going on vacation so i do want to just get like some a little bit of new clothes but i'm super excited about these unitards i saw them on sale they were like i'm gonna say they could have been like 15 dollars or something like that so i thought these are super cute something to like lounge in their shorts really nice like solid um material so i got them in the pink black and then i also got it in this kind of like checkered color i thought this was a little bit fun as well and then it, on the back it's like a little bit more of like a racer style back which i thought was really cute as well but um I feel like I was also going to share with you guys an Amazon haul, but I might just hold that off until a little bit later because, again, uh, it's 5 o'clock now. <sighs> it's about to rain. I'm really trying to push myself to go to the gym, so I want to make sure that I make my gym class. So I'm just going to relax. I will catch you guys back here another day. All right, guys, so it is actually a couple days later. I feel like after I stopped filming the last video, I just felt like I had like a head cold so I've been taking medicine. It's not like, like I have a little bit of a cough, but not much, but I just feel like congested and tired. So I just took a couple days off to relax, but I'm feeling a lot better today. And there's just a little bit of things that I need to get done today. So I was doing laundry earlier today. Let's bring this down. Yeah, I was doing laundry earlier today and I wanted to throw some stuff in for Riley, but this was washed, but I realized that there's a bunch of little stains on here and you know the girl loves her dresses. So I am going to try with this instant carpet cleaner remover. I think you can use it on other, like anything. And I do have to do a load of stuff for her. I'm going to let it sit for a little bit and then I will wash it with the rest of her clothes. Now, if I cannot get this out, um i will most likely just like throw it away um but yeah let's hope this can kind of get these little stains out of here So yesterday Riley was eating mac and cheese and I see a little bit of stains on the couch. Clearly when you're really far away you can't like really really see it but it's gonna drive me crazy. So we already got the stain cleaner out so I am going to try and get this out as well. The good thing is this just happened yesterday and I see a little bit of a pink one there too. So usually what I do is I kind of just let it sit for a little and then I will scrub it. The laundry has finished so I am going to put her stuff in there, clean up a little bit and then I will come back and try and get these stains out. You, you've been hiding in the shadows way too long. You always thought that you were weak but babe you're wrong. Yeah, you better step into the light. Just give it a try. Think that it's time you let that spark out. You've been hiding in the shadows way too long. All right, all stains are out, guys. I am obsessed with this cleaner. Like this has really been coming in clutch. So I will have it linked down below for you guys. I got it off of Amazon. You shouldn't doubt yourself 
Sorry for the poor quality guys. I was in the groove of cleaning and I didn't even realize that I sprayed a little bit of the cleaner on my lens. So you are gonna see a little bit of a glare but it will get a little bit better. Honestly, the old me would have tried to take out the rest of this video but at the end of the day, like, I'm not perfect. These are the struggles and the things that we go through. So over on my channel, it's going to be real life. There are going to be slip ups. It's not that serious. It's progress over perfection. So with that being said, I'm now going to tackle this load of laundry, get this all folded, and then I'm going to put it away. Okay, so I put all of the laundry away. I actually have to go pick up Riley in, probably leave here 10, 15 minutes. I quickly made myself lunch. It's about 11.40 and I have not even eaten lunch all day. I haven't, well, not lunch. I haven't eaten anything all day, so I am so hungry. We've been driving around, singing songs way too loud because we wanna. So I'm back from picking Riley up. She's in the living room watching her shows. So I came in here. I did throw in another load of laundry and was just all white. So I'm folding that and putting that away and then I'm going to make my bed.
nobody's attention yeah we just wanna dance on our These pillowcases are a little bit bigger than the actual pillows and to make the bedding look a little bit more luxe, I'm taking the extra fabric and folding it in so it just makes a nice crease. When you stepped into my life, such a magic feeling, we tore down my walls. I wish I could go back to right before you told me I'd try to change it all. But look at us now, could have gone so far It hurts to realize we're parted Thank you guys so much for stopping by and hanging out with me today. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up if you do, subscribe if you're new, and I'll catch you guys right back here in another video. Strangers again, again, again. Like strangers again, again, again.